Hi guys, welcome down to Quest Golf Studio here with myself, Rick Shields and Rob Potter. So mid, we're going to call him the mid handicap tester because this 13 handicap is going to come down this year, okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Rob Potter has not done any testing here yet so far, so we thought why not, let's have a lovely testing session. We've got two days planned of testing, we're going to do a few drivers right now, we're also going to jump out on the golf course while it's such a beautiful day, so yeah. stay tuned for the videos on that. Um, and we're starting off today with the Ping G driver. Yeah. Talk us through Rob. So, like I say, if you've not seen anything of Rob before, uh, where have you been already? Because he's done some great reviews on my channel. 13 handicapper, has a beautiful golf swing, just needs more power and needs to play a little bit more to drop this handicap down to single yeah. figures. G driver, talk me through it. What do you think? I like it. The, the G30, we tested the G30 last year, didn't we? we did. Uh, and I dubbed it as the punk rocker of golf due to the... Uh, Turbulators. Turbulators. <laughs> or it's actually the Arnold Schwarzenegger golf club's going, it's the turbulator. All uh, oh, right, is that how, you, is that how it's pronounced? Yeah, so it's, that's how it's pronounced. There you go. <laughs> um, so the, cha the look on it, it hasn't changed much, uh, apart from the back of the golf club has now actually got four new fins. Do you uh, know what that's called? Go on. Dragonfly. Dragonfly. So what they've done, they've stripped the weight from the crown and stuck it in the bottom. So mm. what those... those uh, what did you call them then? Wings? Uh, wing, uh, the turbulators, wings, whatever. What did yeah. you call these back bits? Uh, fins. Fins. Some, something like that. So those fins are thinner sections of the golf club head or the strip weight and put it in the bottom. Yeah. So that's what they've said. They've kind of said, you know, G-Driver is the best driver we've ever made. What can we do to improve it? Well, actually, not a lot. We can no. improve it by a little bit, but not a lot. Yeah, a, a bit more, a bit of aerodynamics. I mean, you know, to be fair, based on what a lot of the other companies call things on their golf clubs, this is probably one of the lesser gimpier things they could say. Potentially. You potentially. Know, potentially. Because you look at it and, yeah, you can see the dragonfly essence to it with yeah. the stripes, the lines, the veins, whatever you want to call it. Um, I like that. So, designed by John Solheim, who's a keen photographer, apparently. John Solheim, right. who, who now owns Pink. Pink, yeah. And he noticed when he was taking pictures of dragonflies, the actual thinness of the wings. Mm. And so he said, come on, engineers, make that. Yeah. That's what they made. Genius. Should we give it a smack? Yeah, why not? So, we've got this in, this is in the stock ping g driver this is a uh, shaft sorry this is the alpha shaft ping and we've gone to regular now because rob was noticing that a lot of the fittings when you went to callaway you were yeah. regular weren't you yeah, yeah. We've gone regular 10 and a half degree and we're going to test all of the drivers in that setting yeah. unless we see anything odd but let's let's test it in that setting sure. you're going to give it a whack yeah why not so we've got some real balls we're going to give it a lovely hit on this beautiful day down here in lytham i'm looking forward to, to it in this this looks really really nice it looks like and it's, it's still, for me, the, the, the turbulators are still like an alignment aid to try and find the sweet spot. Very quick one before you hit this. What would be seen, so that we can keep people up to date, what would be seen as a good drive for you? What would you be more than happy with? Uh, to carry-wise, if I can carry something about 230, uh, I'm, I'm quite happy with 230. Two, I think 230 for you is uh, an 8, out of, a ten, eight yeah. out of 10 shot. Yeah. Normally around about 220, 225, 230 and above is 10 out of 10. Yeah. And I think last time you even had one last year carrying one at nearly 250. So yeah. that's kind of where Rob hits it. Yeah. With a 95 miles per hour club head speed roughly in that area. Yeah. Let's give it a whack. See no what worries. you can do. Yeah, because I can grow a beard in a swing. So there you go. It is, it is a slow, a slow <laughs> swing speed to be fair. How'd that one feel? Oh, a little bit hooky, maybe. Yeah, it's just a little bit turned off line. Yeah. Feel good? Feels good. It, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a big hit, sir. It's, yeah. It, Considering that was a bit of a low left one. It was a bit, wasn't it? Let's give it another whack. It we're going to hit three best. or four. We'll, we'll have a look. For a very low spin, yeah. 1800 spin, which is tremendously low. Um, for Rob's swing speed, we'd probably like to see that just fluctuating above 2000 would give optimum distance. Yeah. Because if it goes too low with that swing speed, it doesn't quite stay up in the air long enough. All right, let's try it again then. So, nice flight. Very nice <laughs> much, flight. Much straighter, a little bit higher launch. I'd like to see what the spin is on that. Yeah. Um, because that certainly looked like it just spun up a little bit more. Did it feel like a good strike on the face? Yeah, it felt, felt like a good strike on the face, yeah. It's, compared to the G30, uh, I like the feel off the face and the noise off the face. The G30 was kind of a bit woody. It was a bit boom. Okay. It was a bit, a, bit, a bit of a dull and boring kind of club to hit. This I like. This I like a screamer. It's a, it's a screamer. Wow. So um, it is loud. <laughs> let's, let's keep so, it at that. Yeah. It is loud. It's quite a. Um, I, don't know, it's, I think it's quite a powerful noise when you hit this drive. Is, that yeah. one spun at 2,300, uh, just under that 230 carry, which we would normally see. Um, 
But again, it was a good strike. It yeah. felt nice. It sounded, it did sound very powerful. The G30 was a, quite a loud drive, but I would say this is louder. And whether yeah. that, just the top fins have made the acoustics of it yeah. different, potentially. It probably is. What I like, Ping, is, well, I've said this with the irons when we did the irons. You've got the, you've got the ping, you've got the noises back. Uh, you have the Ping Zing 2 driver. Yeah. Yeah. It was just incredibly loud. It was like a gunshot going off it in was. an echoey, in yeah. an echoey alleyway. Yeah. That's what I miss. That that's the noise uh, that we uh, want. With Rob's, uh, uh, Rob's uh, growing up, he's used to that that noise. Is that right? Yeah, very much so. Gun, well, gun shot, gun, gunshots in alleyways. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. yeah so it's, let's, it's let's a chorley thing. <laughs> it's a chorley thing. It's if a chorley you, thing. If you don't know where chorley is in the UK, uh, just northwest England, and it's a lovely place. We still hunt for food. A little bit behind that one. Yeah, that was it was a, a little good bit. hit, but it'd be interesting to see what that number does. See where it goes. Because it's a solid flight. That's, that's your longest. That's my longest. And you actually didn't hit that well. This is going to show a very low spin, in my opinion. 234 carry distance for 259 total. 1750 spin. I don't so, get that. Or well, you, you'd never get that. No, and, I don't. And it's funny because this isn't the LS Tech version. This is not the low spin driver. This is not um, the low spin one. Uh, Pete. Finch has, has described it as the lowest spinning driver he's ever hit. And mm. sometimes, it all, for, for me, it's almost too low spinning. Um, but uh, it's not its main objective, this driver. This, no. this driver's main objective is for forgiveness and distance. Yeah. Because the center of gravity, the weight is all the way in the back. The LS Tech version is much further forward. And they've got the SF Tech version, straight flight tech. Where, yeah, where the, and that, that's the head we took out of it before. All right. Where the, wherever we put it, Hopefully. where the weight is more in the heel of the head to allow the face to, to rotate back to square a little bit more. So that is, it, it's a forgiving driver. That is what it's aimed to do. I like that. Not particularly spin at 1700, which is lower than low. So it's it, really low. So if I had the LS tech, or if I had the lower, I, I don't even know what. One, oh, there's the, there's the SF tech, sorry. I wouldn't even get so it off the weights in the heel. Would, would it even get airborne if I hit it? You would, if you were using the LS tech, and we'll, we'll get time to do a review on that. Maybe not good. today, but we will do it at some point. Yeah. You would need to put a tremendous amount of loft in the head. Right. From what I understand, I think you would, if you were using LS Tech, and if, if it was right in saying that that might drop that down a couple more RPM, a couple of hundred mm. RPM more, so you're like 1500 RPM, 15 RPM, you would literally need to be launching that thing at about 19 degrees. So it's almost counterintuitive doing it then, for, for somebody like myself, for, for a low handy couple like, yeah, or a mid handy couple like I, myself. I don't, yeah, really, really, deep down, that spin rate's too low. Yeah. Because you would need to really maximise in the distance, you would have to up that club head speed to yeah. maximise carry distance. Yeah. However, yeah. that's still carried at two, three, four, mm. which is still good. Still, yeah, I, I can live with that all day Let's long. Let's have another go. Guys, you may just lose us for a minute because the fire jet's coming over, so stay tuned. Come back in a sec. <laughs> <laughs> but it, no, it should be okay. It's not too loud. Go on. No. Rob, we'll hit our uh, fourth shot. We'll hit a couple more. Bad golf shot. It, it, it just... Bad golf shot. Bit toilet that, wasn't it? Yes, let's go again. Yeah, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll have it. That, that's why I'm wrong. handicapper. Here's a mid, we'll say mid handicap. Mid handicapper, okay. Because that might, 13 might, well, it will change this year, please, Rob. It, it needs Otherwise, to. Otherwise, you, you, you're not only uh, doing yourself any harm, you're doing me harm. <laughs> as, as your coach. <laughs> hey. I'm just doing it Single for figures this, no, you, want, you stayed at 13 just to do these videos. Yeah, just do these videos. He's really nice like that. <laughs> Otherwise, he, he, needs, he needs volunteers quickly. Yeah, let's go one more good one. Right, let's have this. Nailed. Nailed. Look, that baby. felt really, really bad. It is very loud, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's a tremendously yeah. loud driver. Which yeah, I like. it's, it's in and around that 230 mark to two... Let, if we were to take that one bad one out, which we will do, because that the, the fourth shot, which was a terrible shot, yeah, thanks. let it was. Let's yeah. be honest. Let's uh, <laughs> let's use the four out of five shot then to get some averages. So, okay. if we look at carry distance, carry distance on the four out of the five good shots there was two hundred and twenty nine yards of carry distance, which is what we say mm -hmm. is a is a good hit for Rob. Yeah, this two thirty carry distance is a good hit. Total distance was 252 with an average spin rate of 2,131. So it sits there and thereabouts. It's tidy. You like that, don't you? It's tidy. That's, um, that's tight. Good put your G30, mate. Pink, yeah, crack on. G30, mate. G30, mate. <laughs> so I think 
from what that from the numbers that produces there, and like I say, this is designed as a forgiving driver. Off centered hits, it is forgiving with that centre of gravity back. You generally like the looks of that driver. Yeah, I, I love the look. Like I said, we said on the G30, it's stealth. Mm. It's that the fighter goes over. I'm in this. It's stealth. It's, it's, oh, the, it's the, fate, the romance, right? the fate. timing. But also, no, 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 no. It's a day, out of, day after Valentine's. Let's not get all soppy. Um, so, give us a little bit of a summary. And I wouldn't mind a rating off you as okay. well out of 10. All right. Because we'll, we'll do some ratings. Almost treat them as fresh ratings. So regardless yeah. of what we've but reviewed in the past, in the past yeah. let's, let's start afresh this year. Okay. In terms of aesthetics and looking at it, it's, it's, it's gorgeous. It's a cracking, cracking club. I, I like that really much. Um, because you like, the, you like the design on top. I like, I like the design on top. Just to look at it, you know, it's, it's a nice, it's, people call it dull. It's a nice, dark drive ahead it's it's more it's natural like that matte finish it's a matte it? finish i like it it's, it's stealth it is stealth and you and you've now become slightly more accustomed to the punk rocker yeah, yeah i think you did like it last year to be yeah I, I, I like the punk rocker stuff it was just the fact of it sounded like dead wood um and it was like hitting dead wood as well to be fair uh, i didn't like how the driver was but that's not going to the comparison to look at it it's gorgeous it's a cracking club uh, and the performance of it all right a couple of scruffy ones but i like the noise off it i like the feel off it Right, there isn't much fill, but there isn't much on these new drivers. But what I like, you know, what, what there is, I like. Okay. And it goes, for me, personally, performance, it goes. Performance there, it sits right exactly where we would expect it, on yeah. the high side of performance. Mm. Not, It's not, you know, the, the, the shots that we've hit, the four out of five good ones that we hit, they're on the high side of Rob's normal performance. Yeah. Uh, give it a rating out of 10, please, sir. I'm going to give you a nine. Wow. Ping G driver. Rob's rating 9 out of 10. We're going to now jump on to some more drivers. We've got today to test, we've got the M1. We've got the Nike drivers. And then we've got another day action pack tomorrow of loads more reviews. But they will be coming very soon. Guys, as always, do comment down below. We love to hear your feedback. Rob loves to read them. He, yeah. He's an incredible replier to comments as well, which I always thank you for. Thank you. Uh, do subscribe to the channel. Do go and follow Rob on Twitter as well. And stay tuned for the next review, which is the TaylorMade M1 driver. Because that'll be an interesting one. What do you think about the M1? Just quickly, to tease people. Interesting. There we go. Different. Stay tuned. Find out Rob's full opinion on the M1 driver coming next. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.